for a guy that's just getting into, let's say he bought his first boat, and, and how does he know that his boat is properly propped? The best thing to do is find out what your engine manufacturer's recommended wide open throttle RPM is for your engine. And we tell everybody we like to see our engines propped to the upper 300 RPMs. So for instance, a VMAX SHO typically runs a wide open throttle RPM of 5,000 to 6,000. Our engines are happiest from 5,700 to 6,000. So that's what you're looking for. And, and so, and, and so, if you're running at 57 to 6,000, are we? And we, how do we know that we're proper right? Is it the speed that we're going at that point, or the, the RPM is the crucial factor? Okay. The reason the RPM is the factor is because if the engine can't reach the top of that RPM range, then the engine is struggling to build power. You're you're losing power by over propping the boat. Propping to that wide open throttle ensures all the way through the RPM range that the boat's making the maximum power, giving you the maximum fuel efficiency and performance that you expect. If you can't reach that upper end of the operating range, that say 57 to 6,000 RPMs, if you're only hitting 5,600 RPMs, you're over propped. The engine's struggling to make power. If you're over 6,000 RPMs, if you're 6,100, then you're underpropped. You have room to go up, and that in turn is going to give you higher top speed. If you're outside of that range, if you're at 5,500, you need to go down in pitch. Every inch of pitch equals roughly 150 RPMs, plus or minus 50, depending on the prop. So at 55, we want to go down two inches of pitch. That should put us up in the middle of the RPM range. Same, same thing goes for the other side. If we're at 61 or 6200, we want to go up an inch or two a pitch to bring us back down into that range. 